So now that I've verified the domain name uh, and I've set up the DNS, I went back to Mailgun and I just clicked on that check DNS. And you can keep pressing that until basically it's working. As again, they might say that it takes a couple hours to completely propagate through the network. Sometimes it's very quick though. Uh, from here now, I have my credentials set up. So I have my STMP host name, my default SMTP login, my default password, my API base URL, and my API key. So at this point, you're pretty much set up. So if you're using Laravel, you would be using those credentials. If you're using WordPress on your server, there's a Mailgun plugin, which you can go and just paste in those values, and then you'll set up your server uh, and your WordPress install with uh, emails as well. So there's a couple different ways you can come at it in order to create it. What I'm gonna do now though, is move on to a Laravel based system to test out some of these emails. And I already have a project started, and I assume you would have a Laravel project started as well uh, to get started. So let's go to the builds directory and take a look at that project. So I'm gonna open up my builds directory, and then I'm going to go to contact. And this is a uh, project that I've uh, created previously for the uh, creating a contact form with the Laravel series. And uh, it's just a basic Laravel install with a form and a controller. And then it sends out some test mail using MailTrap. And we're gonna change that MailTrap over to using MailGun. So let's go ahead and open up this directory inside Sublime. So I'm gonna drag contact into Sublime. So if you need to like catch up on that or you might not be familiar with using Laravel, definitely watch that uh, contact form series and that should show you uh, an understanding how to get to this point so um, from here as you can see inside of our env file and we scroll to mail from you can see that it's already set up here uh, with mail from address hello at code time io and mail from name uh, code time and you can see here the mail username and mail password and its default is set up with mailtrap.io on the actual site itself, if we were to go there, contact.dev, and then I believe I made a contact form here. If I was to fill this out, it sends an email over to MailTrap, and that's how it. Ex that's exactly how I'd want it to work. But imagine this site is now live, and I want to actually test it for real. I want it to actually send an email to the hello or whoever I'm going to send it to. So let's go ahead and switch over our credentials here now in our ENV file to Mailgun. Now, normally you'd only wanna do this on the production ENV file, meaning the one that's on your server. So we'll go back over to here and where it says SMTP for the host name, I'm gonna go in here and say SMTP.org. For the next one, which is the port, I'm gonna leave the 2525. For the username, so you have your default SMTP login. I'm going to change that for that username. For the mail password here, I have this uh, password created. And the mail encryption I'm going to leave is null. So now that's set up. I'm gonna save this. If I go to my config file and then click on mail, you can see the default driver is SMTP. Well, I can actually change this to Mailgun. I see the host here switches over to Mailgun, to mailgun.org if I want to, for the mail host. Here's the default for, from address, and we've, we actually in, we've actually set that up for um, uh, on our EMV already for the hello at code time and the from name as code time. And uh, here we have the default mail username and password, which we've sent up, the send mail, and then whether or not it's gonna be using Markdown. So we should be set up now for our default. If we go back to our site now and fill out some information, I'm gonna just fill out Trevor and uh, my email address uh, is that, and I'm gonna say hello there, test email. And I'll click send. And it says your message has been received. That's the confirmation. Now, if I go back over to my domains now, uh, 
and we'll click back onto that given domain. So mg.moodboards.io. Uh, let's see, looks like the domain name is verified for me. Uh, if I click on logs here, you're gonna actually see all of the emails that are in the system that people may have sent. You can see some routes. If you set up test routes, you can see reporting. You can see some analytics. So here's some analytics on boot cats, uh, some impressions, email validation, and web hooks. So you got some options in here that you can go in and check. You'll see here that one outgoing message was just sent out from there. I also can click on this gear wheel here to look at the logs reporting some uh, suppressions and domain settings. So if I wanted to look at the logs for just that, you'll see here a uh, new contact request, uh, accepted request right here. So now if I go over to my emails uh, and click refresh, let's see if I can go and get that email. So as it said here, here's the email that got sent out. So accepted hello code time .io, info at Trevor Rainleaf, new contact request. And then it hit, we'll retry 600 seconds, hello code time, new contact request, server responded 450 on a bounce. Uh, mgmoodboards.io, sender address rejected, domain not found. And that's because uh, I have not finished the domain propagation here. So uh, I keep losing it, there it is. It might be activated now, because it just said active. So it looks like it's good. Uh, domain name tracking's not on, so I won't know that. So let's go and try that one more time now. So I'm gonna click refresh. Whoop. And we'll now put in our information one more time here. This time I'm gonna put in a, the same email and a different message. So I'm gonna say, hello test two. And we'll click send. And it says again, it's been received here. And now if I go over back to my domain names here, click on the uh, mg.moodboards.org and click on the log. I can see this time, same thing. So it looks like it's just not, it's not uh, fixed up yet. Cause here's that one, it looks like it sent out two, but it's not, the domain name's still re, uh, not accepting it. So you can see I'm not getting the email here. So you just gotta wait for that to finish propagating and your emails will then be set up uh, and receiving. So basically what's happening is Mailgun's receiving it from my Laravel install, but the actual domain name server with DigitalOcean it doesn't know what to do there because it's not set up yet. Uh, so that's something. And if you do fall into issues even after this, you maybe wait 24 hours, reach out to DigitalOcean, reach out to um, Mailgun, and they might be able to address some of your problems. Maybe you might have uh, configured one of the settings wrong uh, based on your configuration. So with that, uh, you can see it's pretty easy to set up Mailgun and send out emails. It's just switching out of values, and it's a great service to go in and use. I hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, until next time.